Welcome to 2K Sports. I'm Damon Bruce. Glad to have you with us. It's Tuesday Hoops, and it's next. It's Jason Kidd and the Dallas Mavericks going up against Brooke Lopez and the New Jersey Nets. And now let's get to the call by Kevin Harlan, Steve Kerr, and Clark Kellogg from New Jersey, where the three are courtside. And as the players are going through their pregame routines, getting ready for the action. Live from New Jersey at the home of the Nets, we're broadcasting from Prudential Center. The NBA on 2K Sports, that is the place you want to be. And we're happy to have you with us on our broadcast today. Now, a look at Dallas's starting lineup. Marion and Dirk make up the forwards. Carter is out there with Jason Kidd. And it's Odom in at the center position. And for the Nets... Jaron Williams out there with Green. Then it's Brandon Wright. Then it's Mehmet Okur. And it's Lopez in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. Well, Dallas may not be the toughest team defensively, but they're very smart. They do a nice job of avoiding fouls and keeping teams off the free throw line. And so off the tip, it's New Jersey. Outside Williams. He's picked up by Kidd. Williams dishes to right. Good luck. Good. And it's Williams who picks up the assist. Wright's got the first basket of the game for the Nets. And Steve, you brought up the fouls. Part of it, Clark, is that they aren't overly aggressive on D. And the big time jam. Let's see it again with the Sprite Slam Cam. There isn't anybody in the building that didn't appreciate that throwdown. Well, Steve. Steve, that's as fancy a finish as you could possibly get. A serious degree of difficulty on that one. And here is Williams. Right down low, defended by Carter. Here's Lopez, laid in with a nice touch off the glass. You know, the defense has to prevent the ball from getting down into that area if they're going to be successful, guys. And there's Dirk Nowitzki on the assist by Kidd. Now the defense just couldn't get a hand in his face, couldn't challenge the shot. Yeah, made his height advantage count that time. You know, last year for Dirk might have been one of his best to date. I mean, I think it was. Even better than his MVP year. He was just superb. But a lot of that had to do with what he showed in the playoff. I think he was at such a high-level performance during the playoff. Good things happen when he's working like that, though. Let's send it out to Doris Burke, who caught up with head coach Rick Carlisle. Doris? Kevin, when I asked him what his team is looking to accomplish on the offensive end, he said they'll be looking to make the extra pass. He told me with the shot blockers they are facing, they'll often come to help from the weak side. And they can get a lot of easy buckets if they know when they've left their man alone inside. Let's see if their guys make the right reads. Wonderful stuff, Doris. Thanks. What approach to use against the opposing D, I guess, in the front of their minds? It sounds like that. Yeah, well, it's a tall task when you take on a team as sound defensively as they are so you just have to be sharp in your execution steve yeah yeah you got to be sharp but you also have to attack i mean if you're not aggressive against this team they're going to take control of you and all of a sudden uh, they'll have control of the game here's okur barry is the easy one the back to dirk he was in consideration for another mvp steve finishing right in back of rose last year well he made a pretty good case for himself the best field goal percentage of his career and was a force for Dallas all season long. They had that incredible postseason run. And uh, if it hadn't been for an injury at midseason, which cost him uh, about 10 or 12 games, I believe, I, I think Dirk might have won it. From 18 feet away, and again, it's New Jersey converted. The defense gave him more than enough space right there. Here's Kidd. And Nowitzki backs in. Marion up top, guarded by Wright. Free throw line jump shot, and another basket for Dallas. He's not their first option, but 
not a bad fallback either. Well, the Nets under new ownership last year, they were determined to make a splash, and they threw some money at some free agents that maybe didn't pan out as well as they had hoped. Guys like Travis Outlaw, Johan Petro, Jordan Farmar. But the big move was trading for Darren Williams at the deadline. Uh, he's got a chance to be their anchor for the future. He's got a piece of it. And here we go with Darren Williams looking for his first bucket of the game. Here's Green. It's good. Great play by Williams to set it up. Williams has got three assists now in this one. And Steve, of course, Darren Williams, a top five point guard, acquired from the Utah Jazz, middle of last year. Now their best player. In and I would think definitely gives them much more of a competitive spirit team-wise. Yeah, I agree with you there. He's a terrific leader in addition to being an outstanding oh! Boy, that dunk got everybody up off their seat. Oh, they're loving it, aren't they, Steve? Well, how could they not? I mean, he put the cherry on top of the sundae on that one. <laughs> Dallas calls their first time out of the game. You know, the Mavericks did a really good job against the East, and you have to be strong out. grab the number three seed in the West. Chris Humphreys has checked in for New Jersey. Gaines comes in for Green. Mavericks trailed by four. It's Terry outside. Gets it to go. Terry's got himself on the board with three there. No reason not to pull up for the three right there. You're right about the Mavs there, Clark. 22 and eight against the East last year. Steve, some good numbers. Not a surprising note. They swept some of the bigger fish over in the Eastern Conference. Two wins each versus Boston. And Miami, oddly enough, Struggled against Milwaukee, like playing down to your competition. He's wasted no time on that one. And this game is tied up now. It has been all offense here early. It sure has been. I mean, both teams clicking, and it's been an entertaining game as well, guys. The kick out to Williams. Lopez backs in. It's blocked. And Dallas has possession. Here's Gaines. Good. And it's Williams who picks up the assist. Five seconds left in the first quarter. It's Terry outside. Got him off in time, but it's no good. All right, today Andre can my name is Andre can Shane, and we'll have decided. I would decided to skip the all the games or quarters like first, second, and third, except for the fourth, even in the chance to tie the game. So because they got a hit by a copyright music issues, who's the channel was Chimpinokos. They upload by intro. The entire is all intro. The artist by Chimpinokos. If you're going to check out by the link in description. Oh, we're gonna check out the go go to community post online with an update. So I've decided all skip for all copyright posts. So the decided will have to be or we'll have to skip for the copyright music because we we'll have there will be the quarter or skip due to the copyright music. So that's it for now, Andre Kenshin. And now let's get back in the game. I will skip 
all games are quarters due to the copyright skip for copyright music. Goodbye. Let's go back in the game. First quarter. Why did she? And the second quarter getting underway. No team gaining an edge so far. Here's West. And Jason Terry really came into his own once he was acquired by Dallas after his early seasons in Atlanta. Not a traditional point guard. Much more effective as a shooting guard, and he fits right in with the Mavericks. Being in James out there with Memo Okur. Then it's Gaines. Then there's Darren Williams. And it's Graham into the three, the small four. That's the next five as we get into the second quarter. And let's catch up with our sideline reporter, Doris Brooke. Doris, over to you. Hi, Kevin. Darren Williams was traded last season in a surprise deadline deal between the Utah Jazz and the New Jersey Nets. But for Darren, he tries not to let the trade and its fallout taint his memories of his time in Utah. As Darren likes to say, I had a great time. I hate that the last two months put a damper on things and kind of tarnished that. This is one of the most competitive point guards in the league, guys. Hey, thanks, Doris. There was a lot of success with Utah and Darren. It's, it's good to see him not dwell on how it ended. Yeah, the humility is impressive. I mean, you don't often get enough of that when a big star gets traded. You mentioned Terry flourishing with the Mavericks after beginning his career with Atlanta. He really gives Dallas options in that backcourt. Yeah, he can occasionally play at the point guard spot for you next to somebody else on the, at, the two, at the shooting guard position, but he's best when he's in attack mode and his versatility and his shot making. I love the effervescence that JT plays with. Not to mention the fact that he throws daggers at you from that mm. three-point line. Looking at who's out there now for the Nets. Brooke Lopez has checked in for Okur. Humphreys comes in for Stephen Green. And it's Vujicic in for Darren Williams. Lopez, Haywood covering. Here is Gaines, defended by West. Baseline try, nice shot by Vujicic. Vujicic has got his first basket. Boy, I like the fluidity I'm seeing from them on offense. It's a thing of beauty, fun to watch. Yeah, it is. They're moving the ball well, finding the open man, making that extra pass. They're playing very unselfishly right now. James outside. Bunny shot. Another one falls for New Jersey. You start hitting a few of those mid-range shots, and it can open up your whole game. Well, you know, the Nets managed to get close to 500 at home last season, guys. 19 and 22 was the record. They more than doubled their home wins from the season prior, so you try to build on something, and that's a good place to start. Here's Gaines. Now Vujicic feeds it to Gaines. Four on the shot clock. Shot is blocked. And here are the Mavericks now. Stiakovic kicks to Carter. It's stolen. And they're on the break. Gaines the pass to Humphreys. Shoots it down to finish the break. Yeah, going straight to the hoop. Attacking the whole way. Yeah, nice finish. Cap that break off and stop. And the Mavericks call time here. And for these New Jersey fans, this is probably the last season the Nets will be seeing the Prudential Center here in downtown Newark. Yeah, that's right, because next season the Nets will move into their new building in Brooklyn. Uh, probably some mixed emotions for the New Jersey fans who live on this side of the Hudson, but uh, it will be very exciting to have a major pro sports team in Brooklyn. First time since 1958. You know, you see Beret out there, and you can't help but think of the impact he was for the Mavs in their run to the title last spring. I mean, he was a terrific spark for the whole team. Good on both. Well, getting back to J.J. Barea, you know, he took some lumps early in the playoffs. A couple of hard fouls, one from Andrew Bynum, the flagrant foul against the Lakers. 
but he showed his toughness. Kept getting up off the floor, kept attacking, going to the rim, and he finished that final series off against Miami in absolute style. He was fantastic. How about the body control, guys? He goes up strong, doesn't he? The tray and a great assist by Kidd as that one goes in. Kidd's got three assists in the game. New Jersey trailing. On the top of the key, and it's New Jersey scoring again. 131 left in the first half. Backs him down. And the layup is good. And the Mavericks lead by one. Several lead changes going on here in the early portion of this game. Yeah, but neither team really able to jump ahead. There are five times already the lead has changed. Here is game. Guarded by Berea. Berea is whistled for reaching in. That is his first foul of the game. Some changes for New Jersey. Humphreys comes in for Brooke Lopez. And it's Vujicic in for Sunday out of games. Dirk Nowitzki, he's checked in for Dallas. And you're asking a lot out of your teammate to try to handle that pass. I don't like that decision at all. And a chance here to catch up with the fourth member of our crew, Doris Burke. Hi, Doris. Thank you, Kevin. Well, the Dallas Mavericks have more than just the support of the immediate Dallas area in the NBA Finals. A Cavs for Mavs campaign started up with all the Cleveland fans cheering for the Mavericks to win. As the Heat became the villains of the NBA, though, the Mavs have a lot more than just Cleveland cheering for them last June. Guys, back to you. Thank you, Doris. A lot of people jumped on that Mavs bandwagon last postseason. You know, beyond the Cleveland thing, I mean, I think the Mavs were a team that was just an easy squad to root for last season with Dirk and Jason Kidd vying for their first rings, and they were fun to watch, too. Excellent find there on that inbound. Really good execution. And it's thrown down hard with both hands. Boy, that was a violent throw down there. You're telling me. Well, you know when he goes... up with both Roll hands it, it's gonna go down hard two for one opportunity here if they want it that's what i do make sure you get a couple of shots here to close this quarter mavericks leading by four seven second difference shot and game clock and they turn it over stepped in the line that time just a total lack of focus was not paying attention to where he was here's farmar six points for him taken away by kid it's one-on-one -on -one. Here's Odom, and a great assist by Kidd as that one goes in. Kidd's got four assists in the game. And they'll slow it down, use a little clock. Good call, partner. Hold it for the final one. Here's Vujicic. Now the feed to Farmer. Fires for three, and the Nets another three. Mavericks ahead. They're up by three. And they play two quarters out at Prudent.
And it's been a back and forth game so far with no ground given through the first half. Third quarter starting here now. You know, um, Dallas survived the Blazers in round one and had to deal with a much bigger threat in L.A. Oh! 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 Just a sensational play. Here's our Sprite Slam Cam. My goodness, you got to give it up. That was incredible. Ooh, what a takeoff. Oh, that was something special. Nets trailed by five. Well, Vince Carter always had a knack for hitting tough shots, and with his length and that athleticism, he knew he could create space and shoot over the top of defenders. Here's Odom. Back to Nowitzki. Working on Okur. Goes up. Lays it in without an inch of room around him. 11 points for Nowitzki. And Vince Carter, certainly Steve, could hit some tough shots. The downside, Clark, was, of course, sometimes maybe he settled for, for tough shots. And those tough shots, Kevin, only get tougher as you age. I mean, the years accumulate, you have to get creative. It's just not as easy to fool or bamboozle defenders to get easier shots. Some coach told me that the hardest thing in coaching in the NBA, Clark, is coaching an aging superstar. And, I, you know, we're looking here at Vince Carter, and... He is in that category right now. At one time, he was the show in the league. Sometimes your mind says yes, but your body says no through that play. Yeah, we call it a crisis of identity. <laughs> yeah, it's, a, it's a tough right. thing to deal with, particularly on the stage of pro sports. Stolen by Carter. Solo break. All alone. Rips down the breakaway slam. Wow, that's great. You take advantage of that turnover and convert at the other end. Absolutely. I mean, points off turnovers this time generated off the steal. Gathers, and Green gets it to go. Green's got eight points. Now they've got to offer more resistance inside. Just too many easy buckets in the paint. Yeah, Steve, that's the top priority for any defense. you got to protect the paint. Here's Novitsky. Flashes it down. Nothing fancy for him on that jam. Just a textbook flush. Clark, he put it away without a moment's hesitation. Outside green for three. Oh, cool. And the shot is good. Nine points in the game so far. It's been all makes for him so far. He's had three chances and three conversions so far. It's stolen by Okura. And New Jersey comes up with it. And it's New Jersey scoring again. Well, they really picked up the intensity here since halftime. I think they got the pep talk in both teams now really going after each other. Marion with it. He dishes it to Novitsky. Six to shoot. Another three for Dallas. Oh, they're getting scorched by all these open threes they're giving up. Yeah, it's really been the biggest pitfall for this club so far tonight. So many wide open looks for the opponent. You know, you look at the stops in Carlisle's coaching career, guys. I mean, almost every year he's good for 50-plus wins, no matter who he's coaching. But never able to get the team all the way to the top until last season. You can't help but be happy for him. Working on Okur. Nowitzki dishes to Marion. From deep. It's blocked. Nets trail by five. And there's the rejection. Tries for the alley-oop. Oh! Oh, 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 man! Boy, that is an alley-oop of the highest order <laughs> on the front and back end. Well, a play they've been working on, I'm sure. That's got to be the case because that was impeccable timing. Well, Marion will never...
Never get back to his days in Phoenix when he was a 20.10 rebound guy, but still a very versatile player on this deep Dallas roster. And he can be very effective in a number of ways for the Mavericks. And he continues to knock down shot after shot. A perfect shooting day for him so far. Green against Carter. Kicks to Nowitzki from about 19 feet. And another basket for Dallas. Thinking about Marion. Some more. He's versatile enough to really help Dallas in a lot of areas as we saw in the playoffs. That's exactly right. You can slide him at either the three or the four spot, and along with Dirk Nowitzki, I mean, that can cause some major headaches for a lot of other teams in the league. And we may have an injury here that does not look good. Well, you can tell he's hurting. Let's hope it's nothing major and that we see him back here soon. Ditto to that. Um, injuries, unfortunately, are part of the game. And making a change here, the Mavericks. Mahini's checked in, and then for New Jersey. Humphreys comes in for Memo Okur, and it's Gaines in for Green. And the Mavericks will go for a different look here. Fifty-nine seconds left in the third. Now Gaines. He has seven. Takes it up. So the whistle blows on the shot, and two free throws for the contact right there. That's on Jason Terry. Yeah, don't give up anything for free. I like that. Send him to the line. Yeah, don't, they don't want to sit back and watch you lay it in. I mean, make them earn it. Make them earn it. Don't give up anything easy. Well, you look at the Nets' record against the West last year, 11-19, and 19, which doesn't sound great, but you consider they went 13-39 and 39 against the East. <laughs> that West record looks a little better. Lopez with the bucket. Great-looking bounce pass to set up that play. Dallas calls timeout. Well, it's interesting, you know, Steve, that the Nets were seemingly able to punch a little bit above their weight as far as playing against the West. Mark, uh, I don't know, as a player, do you start thinking about what the East can do and what the West can do and who you might fare better against? No, I think you basically look at each opponent and try to figure out how to beat them. I mean, yeah. they got some big wins on the road against the Thunder, the Rockets, and Denver. Got a home win against the Lakers. It just goes to show on any given night. You never know who's going to come out sure. on top. Working on Haywood. And a foul called on the shot. Got him on the way up that time, so he'll shoot two right here. Yeah, the official all over that one. That's a good call there. You got to give credit to the official there. I mean, being in the right position to make that call, that's what they get paid to do. Both shots good from a strike. Here's Odom. He has six. The pass to West. Three-pointer. Another three for Dallas. Here is Gaines. Four-point game. Over Terry. Gaines gets the bucket. 11 points in the game. That will count. What an amazing buzzer beater. Boy. How about that? You want to talk about cool? How about cool, calm custom? <laughs> <laughs> and I'll tell you what, a split second later, guys, and it's a totally different result here. What a shot. And as we end the third quarter, Dirk Nowitzki having a dominant impact in this game. About three quarters into the game, and the defense still doesn't have any answer for him down on the post. Well, maybe mixing up his looks, bumping him out, 
away from his comfort zone and out of his sweet spot may be a way to change things up. The defense is having a tough time dealing with him, and right now he's been unstoppable. Back in just a bit here in New Jersey. It's time for the fourth quarter and time to check in with the fourth member of our team, Doris Burke, for our Sprite Spark Report. Hi, Doris. Thank you, Kevin. It's the Mavericks with the spark of the game with that push we saw. Their advantage was built through their defense, namely that great second quarter when nothing got by them. They parlayed that great run into the lead they now have. Can they keep it? We'll see. Okay, Doris, thank you. And that run, Clark, really changed the complexion of this game. Yeah, it sure did. I thought it stirred something up in them that got them on a good run. Yeah, got the ball rolling for them, and they were able to keep it going from there, guys. Damian James out there with Stephen Graham. Then it's Memento Core, then it's Gaines, and it's Williams at point guard. So that's the lineup on the floor for New Jersey. That's good. Well, they've got to do something defensively because he's been unstoppable. And defensively, Steve, your only choice now is to double him. I mean, I don't think there's another option. Hangs. Gaines gets the bucket. And he shows us he knows how to finish with a flourish. Mavericks leading by eight. Mahimi kicks to Mary, and he makes good on the layup. Just an unbelievable display of offense here today. Well, it seems like every shot that goes up finds its way to the hoop. I mean, every player is sharp and on target. West against Williams. Over West. And again, it's New Jersey converting. And they are just lighting him up from mid-range area. You know, sometimes we forget about the value of the mid-range or in-between game. This team has made eight of their last ten with that shot, the in-between shot. That's good. Uh, we know he can run hot or cold, but I like the way he's playing today. A moment for our Gatorade injury report. Let's find out the news on Dirk Nowitzki and Doris, what's the update? Guys, I was able to catch up with the managed head athletic trainer, Casey Smith. He told me he has a strained lower back, adding that it's one of the more painful injuries you can suffer. He is officially through for this night and possibly a long time to come. We'll wait and see. All right, Doris, thank you. And Steve and Clark, uh, certainly not the news his fans were hoping for. No, Kevin, it's, you know, guys, it's really too bad. Just a terribly unfortunate turn of events here. Well, yeah, you hate to see that happen. In the meantime, his team you know, has to compensate for the loss. Let's see how they step up. Now here's Terry. And stolen by James. Unnecessary pass there. He's got to make a better decision. Here's Graham. Terry covering. And it's Graham missing. I thought he rushed it a little bit, guys, because he had a clean look. Just lost his focus. Nice shot by Terry. Another fast break hoop. They're just outrunning their opponent here. You know what, Steve? I think the defense has left themselves vulnerable, and they're learning the hard way that speed definitely kills. Dallas calls timeout. He's been locked in from deep. They're giving him too much breathing room and definitely paying the price for it. Some changes for New Jersey. Brooke Lopez has checked in for Damian James, and Brandon Wright has subbed in for Stephen Green. Doris Burke has an update for us. Doris? Yes, thanks, guys. I got a chance to hear what Rick Carlisle was saying to the team. He said to them, I don't care what the scoreboard says right now. This game is ours for the taking as long as we make every possession count. He's trying to keep their focus right where it needs to be, guys. Here's Lopez. Right there. Guarded by Odom. Here's Gaines. It counts. How about the field goal percentage shooting this half, guys? It's going through the roof. And the Mavericks call time here. They lead by seven. We've got 148 left in the game. We've got 148 left in the fourth quarter. Oh, and trying for it. Heroes games. On the wing. And it's New Jersey scoring again. Knocked loose. 
Mavericks leading by five. Outside Carter, another three for Dallas. 127 left in the fourth quarter. Williams against Kidd. Lopez guarded by Odom. Releases. And it's New Jersey scoring again. He knows how to get to the basket, guys, especially when the defense is soft like it was there. Fades away. And it's Dallas with another. Takes such a delicate touch to hit that fadeaway jumper with a man in your face. Lopez backs in. Here is Gaines. Blocked. This game looks like they've got it just about wrapped up. You're exactly right. I mean, take care of the ball, work the clock. It's a wrap. Yep, nice game. I think that may do it here. They're trying to put the nail in the coffin. Well, just adding to the lead as we approach the final buzzer. It's a look. It's good. Great play by Williams to set it up. By right, shooting percentage is off the charts, guys. He's really hitting his shots today. Beyond the arc. And again, Vince Carter for three. And the Mavericks lead by 12. Looks like it's over. Double-digit margin. Clock running down. Just take care of the ball now. Yep, it's a simple equation. This one's over. Use the clock and take care of the arm. Dallas calls timeout. They're in front by 10. 20 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Guys, what do you think? Almost like they're rubbing it in a little bit with this timeout, guys. Yeah, not really much to talk about. Let's get the game over and move on. And some changes here for the Mavericks. Terry comes in for Sean Marion. And Delonte West is subbed in for Jason Kidd. Oh! Nice offensive play there. And uh, this one's pretty much in the books, guys. Yeah, I agree. You know what? It was a very good showing from them to come away with the win. I was very impressed. Here is Gaines. Terry covering and blocked. And here we go with Delonte West. Wow, he is just burying shot after shot from long range. And he'll keep calling and begging for the ball, I'm sure. So we see the Mavericks taking the win. Here, they put on a show tonight thoroughly controlling each end of the floor. Hey, what more can you ask? Thanks for tuning in to the NBA on 2K Sports. For Clark Kellogg, Steve Kerr, and Doris Burke, this is Kevin Harlan. We'll see you next time. And now, our Jordan player of the game, Vince Carter.